A new species of small, Triassic reptile has recently been found in the Arizona Downs Quarry, one of the most diverse and well studied late Triassic paleontological sites. Named Centomi prosopis sucororum, it lived 219 million years ago when the dinosaurs were just beginning to diversify. Centomi prosopis is known from very incomplete remains, though there are enough to determine it was a member of Archosauriformes, the group of reptiles that includes dinosaurs, crocodilians, and their close relatives. Within this group, Centomi prosopis seems to have been more closely related to crocodilians possibly belonging to the larger clade Crocodilia morpha. Unusually for a Triassic archosaur form, its jaws were short and broad, nearly as wide as they were long. It is for this reason that Symptomi prosopis sucororum was given its name, which means Sucre's short face. Its short jaws were similar to those of the late Cretaceous Crocodilia morph Simosuchus. However, while the end of Simosuchus's jaws were nearly as wide as the back, the front half of Symptomi prosopis's jaw instead curved into a narrower, though still broad, point. Simosuchus's broad snout is typical of herbivores who are unselective feeders. If Symptomi prosopis was also a herbivore, which its teeth suggest, its narrower snout could indicate it was comparatively pickier about what it ate than Simosuchus was. While all of the visible teeth in Centomi prosopis's jaws had fallen out or were damaged, CT scans of the replacement teeth still within the jaws have provided a more complete picture of its diatension. The tips had a curved, broad shape as opposed to the sharp tips typical of carnivorous species, while the sides were lined with large denticles. The half of the tooth facing outside the mouth bulged outwards, while the half facing inside was flat. One tooth, referred to as a caniform tooth, was larger than the rest. As mentioned earlier, its teeth suggest a herbivorous diet, as they resemble those of Revoltosaurus, another herbivorous Triassic archosaur form distantly related to crocodilians. Centopi prosopis had very few teeth. A small lower jaw from what appears to have been a juvenile has eight teeth on each side. Four of these were in front of the caniform tooth, while three were behind it. However, the number of teeth varies between Centopi prosopis specimens. A larger jaw, presumably from an adult, has only four teeth on each side. All of the teeth behind the caniform tooth, as well as one of those in front, are missing. As their sockets have been replaced by bone, it seems the teeth were lost as Centomi prosopis grew, as opposed to being lost due to damage or old age. While some species, such as the later Tyrannosaurids, had fewer teeth as adults, permanently losing so many teeth as part of maturing is very rare. One of the few other examples of this is the dinosaur Limusaurus, whose teeth were entirely replaced with a beak as they became adults. This marked a shift from a carnivorous diet to a herbivorous one. As the teeth in both the adult and juvenile Centomi prosopis specimens were the same, it is unclear why they evolved this trait. While lower jaws are the only definitive Centomi prosopis fossils, a few vertebrae, and the back of a skull, including a brain case, are also thought to belong to it. While the features of Centomi prosopis' jaws do have some features in common with Crocodilomorphs, on their own, they are insufficient to confidently place it anywhere beyond Archosauriformes. On the other hand, the brain case assigned to Centomi prosopis has many features in common with early members of Crocodilomorpha. If this brain case truly belongs to Centomi prosopis, then there is little doubt it belongs there. However, the brain case contains many features that were lost early in Crocodilomorph evolution placing Centomi prosopis as a very basal member of the group. If it was a crocodilomorph, then it expands their known morphological diversity during the Triassic, as well as ecological diversity if Centomi prosopis was a herbivore. Most other Triassic crocodilomorphs were small, terrestrial carnivores, though a few of the most basal species, like Carnifex, were instead large predators. Whether or not it was a crocodilomorph, Centomi prosopis was not closely related to Simosuchus. Simosuchus lived at the very end of the late Cretaceous period and belonged to the derived crocodilomorph clade Nodosuchia, as opposed to belonging to a late surviving branch of basal crocodilomorphs. Therefore, the short snouts of Centomi prosopis and Simosuchus are an example of convergent evolution. Overall, Centomi prosopis is a very important find. It has expanded both the known diversity within the already diverse Archosauriformes, while also providing a hint that the earliest crocodilomorphs were more diverse than once thought. It has also demonstrated a notable example of convergent evolution with both Simosuchus and Limusaurus. Hopefully, more complete Centomi prosopis fossils will soon be found that can reveal more about this strange reptile. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you learned something interesting. Have a great day, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button.